you have a dream. It might be big, it might be small, it doesn't matter about the size. The fact is you have a dream. And in your mind, you picture yourself doing all these amazing things. You picture yourself just destroying, destroying any obstacle, any obstacle in your way, and you get it. You just, you see it. It's there, it's in front of you. You're just like, you know what? Damn it, this is mine. And then you go to do it. And you hit the first obstacle, and then you're just like, there, you're dumbfounded. You're like, oh my goodness. You know, where do I go from here, you know? Uh, most of the time, you know, uh, there's like a timeline and it's kind of like the New Year's resolution timeline. So you put your resolution at the beginning of the new year and you're like, okay, the most common one, I'm going to join the gym. So you join the gym first week, bang, you're there, you're doing it, you're working out, it's great, diet's going great, you're there every single day, great. Week two, you're not feeling it as much, you're giving it maybe 90%, 80%, you're still going, you're good. Week three, you're finding excuses not to do it. By week four, you've just given up completely. And that's for about, I would say 80% of people will be like that. But the fact is, the main way to get through an obstacle is to actually go into it head on rather than go around it. But when you're going in towards a goal, multiple obstacles will arise. So if you say like, say an obstacle comes up and you try to take a left, you're like, okay, I'm going to dodge this obstacle. And then another obstacle comes up, so you know what, I'm going to dodge the obstacle, I'm going to go left. You can't keep going left and you can't keep going right because eventually what will happen is you'll end up back at square one again. And instead of having one obstacle, you'll have every single one you try to avoid. It's so much better for you to just take it head on regardless of whatever happens. Because there's a 50-50 chance you either destroy the crap out of that obstacle in front of you. Or you fall. But here's the thing. You have to fall forwards. Always fall forwards. When you fail, fail with progress. When you fail, make sure that you're adding something else. You're doing something more each time. So that way you keep building up and building up to you reach a threshold where you can't fail anymore. To the point where you're fulfilling everything that obstacle needs in order to defeat it. It's the hard work. Literally, that's it. It's just hard work and commitment gets anything achieved. You want to be hanging around with people when you have some crazy idea, some crazy crazy dream you want to hang around people like that and when you tell them they're like you know what damn you should do it. i you know i should do it with you not people who are like oh i want to achieve you know being one of the best performers in my area and like you know you bro, you can't even get into a local production people like that are just dangerous to you and to your goals here's the thing you want to work like this is how you got to do it right There's a very beautiful, beautiful proverb that I love because it says so much in such a short sentence. And that is, as you sow, so shall you reap. And it's perfect. And I'll tell you why it's perfect. It's perfect because what it says in essence is the amount of work you put in is the amount of the rewards that you will receive. Maybe not all at once. But you will receive it in due course. So if you give 100% into your career in acting, your career in singing, in sport, in education. If you give it 100%, oh my goodness, you will get it all back. Not at once, but you will get it back eventually. But if you give it 90% and then it doesn't give you as much as you were hoping for and you start complaining. Why are you complaining? You didn't give everything that you needed to give it. So why would you complain that you didn't get as much as you wanted? The only way you will get as much as you want is if you put in the amount of work that is required to deserve that. And people blame, you know, everything that happens around them. They blame their friends. They blame their families for influencing their decision. That doesn't matter. They can talk. They can try to influence you. But at the end of the day, you were the one who made the decision. And, you know, one of the most powerful sentences in the world consists of 10 two-letter words, right? And it goes like this. If it is to be, it is up to me. And you can make your dream become a reality. You can make any goal achievable. You just have to want it. You need to surround yourself with people who want you to achieve. People who want you to challenge yourself. People who want to see you get to the top. But if you can't break past that barrier of being afraid to go into obstacles. 
then really you're no better than the 90% who just have a dream and do nothing about it. You need to want it with every part of your body. You need to commit yourself because commitment and effort is the only thing that will like break these obstacles and get you where you want to go. But until you do that, you won't get anywhere. And the truth is, a lot of people, unfortunately, surround themselves with people who put them down, who think their dreams aren't worth it. And here's the truth. You need to learn to stand up for what you believe in, even when the whole world is sitting down. And if you can do that and believe in what you believe in, the world is yours to take. I'm going to be 100 with you right now. I don't really tell many people this. Um, but in 2015, I had 13 of my family members killed in Iraq in the space of a week. Um, I don't even know what the average of that is. Almost two like family members per day. And you know, every single day that week, uh, the phone rang, uh, and it rang, and it rang, and it rang. You know, sorry, our condolences. Uh, we're sorry this and that and and you feel like when you're in the situation you feel like I get it you're sorry but what does what does sorry do for me and you know you're working you've got a goal you're you know you've got your SATs you've got your GCSEs your A-level whatever exam you've got whatever project you need to finish at and when something like that happens to you or you know anything's equally as bad you stop you literally stop right in your tracks and you think to yourself I can't do this anymore and that's a lie I was close to breaking down entirely forever but I remember specifically I had a dream one night and I had a dream the week after all of that happened and I saw them I was walking through an area which looked like it was so recognizable to me and it was my childhood you know, where I used to visit on holiday with my family and all of them came out and they all stood in front of me in a line. They said to me, I, we know you're working. They said, we know you're studying and we know you're hurting from losing us. But don't be upset. Don't be disheartened and don't fall off the path. Keep going because you as an individual are strong in the heart and in the mind. They said, keep chasing your dream. Otherwise, you will lose it forever and that will be as bad as dying. And I remember waking up, I I woke up and I cried. I cried for a long, long time. And for me, that was a turning point. Everything changed. It's difficult. But the thing is, this is what you have to do. Use your difficult situation and not use it as as an excuse not to do the work. You need to use it as an excuse to do the work. Oh, my partner broke up with me. Well, I'm going to go and show them exactly why they were going to regret breaking up with me. You're going to go and you're going to break out hours and hours and hours of work. I kept kicked off my basketball team or I got kicked off my football team or whatever, you know, collegiate sport or athletic team you got kicked off. You're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to work hard. I'm going to get at it. I'm going to let Michael Jordan go kicked off his high school team in the first year. And he came back and he completely destroyed everybody. I mean, everybody. And look where he is now. Yo, know, if he didn't get kicked off his team, who knows if he would have been the MJ that we know today. And the same principle goes for everybody else. So for those of you going through a tough time, I know it's painful initially. I know that it's, str- it's going to make you struggle, it's going to strain you mentally and you're going to be running low on your resources. But I promise you, if you stick with it, if you stick to it, anything is possible. Don't quit, because then all that suffering you were going through would have been for nothing. Don't quit, because if you don't, then your dream is going to be gone forever. And to be honest, in my honest opinion, losing your dream is just as much as a part of you dying. Dreams are meant to be fulfilled, not to be broken, guys.